<laughs> All right, pre-flight inspection. Fleet brakes, release and holding mixtures. Rich, RP is cold. Props high RPM. Masters are on. Stop the throttle. Oil pressure. Oil pressure coming up. Okay. Temperature will rise by the time we get out there. Don't have high RPM until, you know, let the but oil it kind of work its way in there before you get to higher RPM. So I usually start at about seven, 800 and let it work its way up as oil gets in there. Gotcha. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn our lights on. We'll know what we're doing. A little bit of more power in. Everything's looking good. See, it's taking a lot of amps. The battery is recharging itself right now. Uh huh. The alternator is giving everything it's got to the battery. Gotcha. This will eventually work its way back down to zero. Gotcha. And uh, see the flaps are down? Yep. For the inspection, we're going to go ahead and bring those up. Okay, now we're going to get our ATIS information. Wind 210 at 11, gust 16, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 22, report 10, altimeters 3007. Visual approach, runway 25 in use. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of Gwinnett County Airport. It files on initial contact information, whiskey. Okay, three zero zero. With this information, whiskey one six four five Zulu. With two one zero at one one plus one six. Visibility one zero. Sky clear. Two 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 report one. Okay. Is the recording that's going? Or yeah, they change it every hour unless there's something significant that changes. Gotcha. All your uh, this ATIS automated terminal information service, I believe it is uh, the weather. So uh, 210 is the wind direction. We're flying on one runway uh, 25, so it means we'd have a, a little bit of a left crosswind okay. on takeoff. All right, and I'm going to lean this out a little bit for our uh, taxi. And uh, transponder, I'm going to walk VFR back. Uh, we're going to have a uh, towards Lake Lanier. I have a north departure. Put a heading in here of uh, north. All right. How you doing over there? Pretty good. A little bumpy through here, these trains. Yeah. That guy ain't going anywhere, unless he installed uh, jets. <laughs> yeah, what are all these? Uh, there's that one over there that's just pretty uh, terrible, huh? Yeah, with the flat tires. Yeah. Okay, so this line is a gr is the uh, where the taxiway began. Gotcha. Uh, and uh, since I'm new over here, I'm gonna go to Gwinnett. Uh, chart here. 
will actually geotag us on here. Oh, we're at a little dot right there. Gotcha. Is there only one runway? Huh? Is there only one runway? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Delta, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna call him. I got information. Whiskey. Quinn at ground. RV 105 Papa Bravo. Information. Whiskey at the uh, Northwest Hangars. Uh, taxi takeoff. Uh, north departure. Tango Delta Yankee, five pop Bravo. You actually steer with your feet. That's what I was noticing. Yeah. So all the, I mean, it's all just wind power, right? By what's pushing back. Yeah. <laughs> the thing on the front. It's actually just a fan to keep the pilot cool. <laughs> As uh, it, and it works really well because what you'll notice is that when the fan stops running, the pilot really starts to sweat. <laughs> oh, so, really works well. <laughs> yeah. Really keeps it cool. These are the taxiways, so we're on Zulu. Okay. <coughs> and, uh, actually that's Zulu over there. We're going to turn on the Delta here. Gotcha. And then we're going to get on Yankee, which is the, the Y there. Gotcha. Steer? Do I want to? Yeah, take your, put your feet up on the pedals. Uh -huh. Okay, and just go left and right. And uh, press down on the top part of the pedal. Your toe, with your toes, it'll uh, break. So feel that. Push it forward? Yeah, push the top part down. How high up do I go? Uh, you just gotta just kind of use the top balls of your feet and your toes. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's how you turn. Also, you can gotcha. use a little bit of a braking in the turn. You can see he's got a little bit of a cross. Okay, my better plane again. This guy's bouncing. Yeah, that's. Uh, he's got a. So he's kind of crabbed into the wind a little bit. The wind's uh -huh. coming from this direction. So he's got a. And what you do at the last minute is you uh, kick it right. Gotcha. And uh, use uh, opposite rudder. Probably a student flying that airplane. Good day to learn. A little bouncy out there today. <clears throat> so when we take off, we're going to we'll just lift up the ground a little bit of speed, and then we're going to be kind of at a pretty aggressive angle. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it. Turn, so watch the turning radius on this thing. It's sweet. <laughs> oh, literally just turn right around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's got a caster in nose gear. That is that uncommon? Or is that pretty common? Uh, it's kind of like a grocery 
Jurassic Heart. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, you know, certain types of airplanes. Watch your head. I'm going to bring this forward. Okay. Okay. So, the way this works is you got to slot in like that. That's all there is to it. And okay. to to open it. Yep. Just do this, and then you got to kind of muscle it back. Okay. All right. Make sense? Yep. I'll try it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. It's funny to say. All right. Okay. So this is what we call a mag check. These are magnetos. You got a left and a right. You got two sets of spark plugs per cylinder versus just one. There's a lot of redundancies. We're gonna bring this up to 2,000 RPM. Uh huh. Thousand. Then we're gonna go to left mag first. I'm sorry, the right mag first. Okay. We're gonna look for. Uh, about 100, 125 drop here. Okay. Which is good. Go to the uh, left mag. This one usually does a little better. Good. We're gonna pull the carb heat just briefly. What's that? This is carb heat. It actually puts heat into the carburetor. Make okay. sure there's no uh, ice in there. Gotcha. And we're gonna cycle the pop three times. What this is doing is getting hot oil into the prop. Okay. So is it slowing down and speeding back up again? Yeah, so see the oh, yeah, I see, yeah. And what it's doing is, uh, this is how you control the revolutions of the uh, prop, your speed. Uh-huh. Speed of the prop. So when you take it off, you want it as fast as possible, but when you're in cruise, you bring it back a little bit, makes it more fuel efficient. Gotcha. That. And I let up the brakes. And do my uh, mental check one more time. Uh, dump that gas. Undercarriage mixture, prop, light instruments, or flaps, and then instruments, and then uh, transponders looking good. So I'm going to call the tower now. We're at Tower RV 105, Papa Bravo is ready to go, Yankee 25. Clear takeoff, RV 5, Papa Bravo. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do that mental uh, checklist one more time. Gas, undercarriage mixture, prop. It'll get cooler once we get in the air. Ready? Yes, sir. Airspeed's alive. <laughs> Get a little bit of speed here. Here we go. Your mom down there? I'm looking. I don't see where she moved the van to. Okay. I'm gonna take the prop, slow it down a little bit. Alrighty. Traffic. Does it show altitude? Any oh, right here? Yeah, I can uh, do this too. Ah, uh, there's your altitude ribbon there. Uh huh. About 2,300 feet. And. Uh, Our speed and knots, 130 knots. 130. How does that? What's the conversion? Times 3.15. So okay. if you're going 100 knots, you're going 150 miles per hour. Okay.
All right, we're about 2,500. We'll stay at this altitude for now. Okay. So what you're doing is you're looking for little green dots over here, which are uh, would be traffic. Okay. That will tell us we got a frequency change if we want, but we'll stay on this frequency for a little bit. That is that Lake Lanier straight ahead? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Go over to the dam and work our way up. Okay. Slow it up. See the prop is changing its angle. The two blades are are turning. Okay, that's how we can slow the uh, prop down. Interesting. And then uh, on 23 and 20, uh, 21 for manifold pressure. That's your throttle control there. Okay. Got that about dialed in there. Turn the boost pump off, fuel boost pump. And uh, you can keep bringing this down okay. as, as we get off the chart. Gotcha. Wanna fly it? Yeah, hey, uh, let me get it trimmed up. This is your trim here. And what it does is this. Uh, what it does is just take some of the pressure off of the controls when you're flying it. Okay. Good at tower two two three one eight ten to the east three thousand full stop whiskey. Okay. So we're done now. Just grab this. I'll wait. I'll wait. Push it either. Final one. Final one. Two five. There you go. Alright, report three out. For uh, okay. Sensitive. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Kind of like a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Feeling good. So what you want to do is uh, so watch your altitude here. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, try to stay on uh, 2,500. So go back down to 2,500. Uh, the general down. Yeah. Hey, cool. You got the uh, synthetic view here. Yeah. If you're in the clouds, you know that. Then you had to. You know, glide down, you wouldn't want to be glide down into the lake. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you did, but uh, at least kind of gives you an idea where you are. Uh-huh. There you go. I hope about 2,500 now. So let me see the controls for a second. Okay. What we'll do is we're gonna kinda go up the lake. So we're looking up there, make sure there's no traffic we can see visually. And uh, on here you said it'd be a green dot. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. So then we're gonna just turn and pull back. <laughs> What do you think about that? That is pretty, pretty nifty. <laughs> this is fun with steep turns like that. Yeah. You wouldn't do that in Delta. <laughs> People spill their drinks. Water. 
and unpopular it is, you can, you know, pretty much go down to like, uh, you gotta stay 500 feet away from uh, people or property, okay? So, uh, we can actually go down even lower if we wanted to. I don't want to go down too low, because if we lose an engine, we're going to be swimming back to shore. <laughs> You know, the, the elevation at, up around this area is about 1,000 feet, so if we're at 2,000 feet, we're about 1,000 feet above the ground and everything. Gotcha. Quinnett Tower, 93550, five miles southeast, information whiskey, full stop. I didn't realize there were so many sailboats out on. Oh, yeah. I'm here. I'm going to through my left face from me, too, bro. This is the area of three miles of white this is the main area where everybody sails. Yeah. So, we're still on the south side of the lake? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, that's, uh, let's see, Holiday back on your right shoulder. 318. Okay, I'm going to see it. One room with two paths. Uh, what is Holiday? Holiday Arena? Oh, uh, yeah. This is Aqualand. This is actually where I actually used to keep my sailboat. Okay. A long time ago, if you remember that. They have vaguely. I remember, I remember the boat, but I remember that you had had a sailboat. Yeah. That's uh, what they call Sunrise Cove, that marina up there. Uh-huh. Right? <coughs> and this is uh, Port Royal Marina right here. This yeah. Up, right? And Browns Bridge is uh, right above that. Right okay. Yep. Need her on here, too. It's gonna go up or this way? Well, you gotta go up first. Okay, you ready? Yep. <laughs> Autopilot, disconnect. There we go. Leaving altitude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? that was, so that was uh, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have positive 2.3 G's. Okay. Uh, we're getting down our seat. Uh, and we're at uh, negative 0.01 G. That's when we were floating. Floating, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Like that. I'll do it again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Over here so the camera can see it. Lean to your right a little bit so the camera. There we go. <laughs> 2.3 G's. There we go. Leaving altitude. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the water came up too. Yeah. Look at that. That one on the right is going to start turning red. I can tell the hue is just about. What does red mean? That means, so if you have two reds and two whites, uh -huh. that's about ideal for the glide slope. Gotcha. Um, so right now we got three reds and one, uh, or, or three whites and one red. Uh huh. What is changing those lights? Um, I forget how they do it. Um, it's kind of like a hologram, you know, the, the, your angle on it. Okay. It looks like too red now, kind of? Yeah, okay. So we're perfectly on the glide slope right now. Bring in another 10 degrees of flaps. Over the trees. actually on the ground. <laughs> I didn't feel us hit. That was, that was pretty smooth. You turn right on the 27 and taxi at 180 on the runway back taxi runway 20. Okay, if I pop a I'll do it. Yeah, right here on 27 and back taxi. Like that? I was in pop up a Bravo runway 20 taxi via Bravo 3 then Bravo 4. Bravo 3, Bravo 4, five pop a Bravo. Alpha. Yep. 
Benson at 504 here. <laughs> He'll let me know if not. George Bulldog thing on the tower. Who's hot? What'd you hit? I just might as well do another mag check, so it never hurts to try one. Watch your head come up. Alright. Take a picture? Yeah, go ahead.
Alpha Bravo, turn right at the uh, going to do Echo is fine at contact ground. Ground RV 105, Papa Bravo is on uh, Echo M25 going to uh, Northwest Hangars. Calling ground again. RV 105, Papa Bravo is on uh, Echo M25 going to uh, Northwest Hangars. RV 105, Papa Bravo is able. Um, take a straight head, turn left on uh, Zulu and take the uh, Zulu Juliet. Do that, don't take anger. Zulu Juliet, five, 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 five. What do you think? Daddy, why? That was, that was a lot of fun. Awesome. Right there. Do it well. Huh? You flew it well when we were uh, over Lake Lanier. Thank you. Got really bumpy there. On the, like that last str yes. stretch? Yeah, in general. That guy's made all, oh, it doesn't seem like it. He hey, what? I don't know. My little guidelines coming out here. See if I can get on them. Excellent. All right, just gotta pull the. That's what happens when you don't have any gas. 